an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing when you let the nuts hang. What it do, everyday people, man? It's your boy PJ, and today, back to giving. So I did find somebody that I'm gonna give these shoes to, but I gotta ship them out, which is no, it's no big deal at all. You know what I mean? It's just basically giving more money. But this person, this person is actually gonna pay me back. They're gonna, they're gonna send me a cash out for what I need. So anyway, there's that. I always give shit. I give more than I receive, which is why I'm giving more because I, bar I barely receive shit from anybody. So here's the thing. So that's, this is going to Elk, or no, Enid, Enid, Oklahoma. I reached, I just put a post on Facebook and I was like, shit, who got a boy need a size seven shoe, you know? And uh, only one person responded, what do you know? But hey, shit, quiet mouths don't get fed. What, uh, or closed mouths? Closed mouths don't get fed. So, um, you know, I'm sending it out there. I, I, My thing was, I wasn't gonna be driving a, around the whole goddamn city trying to meet somebody to get some damn shoes. So I was just like, shit, you know, you, it's like, yeah, if you don't live in the city, how am I gonna get the shoes? And uh, I was like, well, if you wanna pay for shipping, I'll send them to you, you know what I mean? I'm already, I already bought the damn shoes, but it is what it is. Um, So I guess you'll pay for shipping. So let me go down here to the post office. One of the very few post offices we have in Oklahoma City, shit. Or there's one on the north side that I used. I usually I went to them so much I could call them and go pick up my uh, mail. Let me tell you. Let me tell you why they used, I used to have to call and pick up my mail because the lady in our the the condo that I was renting back in the day, this bitch used to steal from me. You know what I mean? And like I've called her on several occasions. Like she. You know, she took my blunt one time when she wasn't supposed to be in my house. She took my glasses one time she wasn't supposed to be in my house. And I'm like, man, what the fuck is wrong with this klepto bitch? But she always make up an excuse like of why shit is the way it is. And I'll be like, like the whole blunt thing, that was that was that was my final straw. It was it, it should have been the glasses, but then when she took my blunt then I was like, all right, this bitch can no longer come into my apartment. And then when I would get mail sent there, like she would not accept the packages with my name and everything on there. Cause you know, when you get big parcels, they take them, they take them to the office. They don't, they ain't no box. So she would not accept them. And I used to be like, I hated that bitch, that fat stinking ass bitch and her bum ass boyfriend, like, why do people who work apartments be the brokest motherfuckers and the, be like, man, you just, yeah. Cause one time she stole some shit and I still can't prove it. But eventually like I got reimbursed for it, a package, but it took a lot to prove that I never received a damn package. And then they saying they dropped it off the hub, but she saying she never received it. And then there's no signature. So then it's like, Man, somebody goddamn lying. And so that's when I started having to go through the uh, post office. And I was just like, man, look, just hold it there. When I know I'm getting something, I call them, be like, hey, you know, I'm supposed to receive a package. I'll come up there and pick it up because they already knew the situation. You know what I'm saying? They knew that bitch was foul. So, you know, it's fucked up. I, I wouldn't want to, you know, I did want to press charges on her, but I couldn't prove it. But I did know she was always stealing my shit and she wasn't ever receiving my packages. Like, with fucking FedEx and stuff, I used to have to get shit sent to my job. You know what I mean? Because this bitch wouldn't receive my packages. I don't know if she did everybody's package like that, 
But I guess it was because of what I when I told her that nah, she can't come back into my apartment because she was fucking stealing my shit. Like, ain't no telling. You know when you got shit around the house and and you got so much shit around your house, you don't actually know what you have. And, you know, it should have come up missing. So, you know, it is what it is. I knew that bitch was foul. But anyway, all right, I see y'all at the post office. All right, we're here at the post office. Uh, we're here at the post office. Didn't want to show y'all the address and shit. But let's see how much it's going to cost to get this pack package off. I'm gonna guess 1090, but we'll see. <laughs> Damn. Okay, anything liquid, fragile, perishable, potentially hazardous, no lithium batteries, just in the motor? No. Okay. 870. 870. Uh-huh. Um, you wanna go ahead and do it? Yeah. And it come with a tracking number? It does. Okay. Expect it there tomorrow. I bought a pair of shoes, but it costs like $5 for the shoes. And they polo shoes, brand new, so I did. I just told somebody I asked who needed a pair of size 7 shoes. I only bought them because it was $5. Yeah. So I'm donating them to somebody uh -huh. and I'm sending it to them. <laughs> well, they'll get them tomorrow. And yeah. Hey, I was like, just pay for shipping, I'll send it to you. My son has this bright idea of buying all these expensive shoes and then holding on to them until they go, and I'm like... Yeah, I do that too. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't resell them. I, I give away all my shoes. He was in a resale. He was like, I can buy them for about two fifty, and then hold them and then resell them for... I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Right, you have a good day. Yeah. All right. So... 870. I'm gonna text her. That's one of my good deeds. That that actually actually sending the package costs more, more than what it costs to buy the goddamn thing, but it is what it is. So alright everyday people. Headed to Walmart. <laughs> 